at the mug in Colony. Game just underway. Colony at Albany. It's the 8-9 game, and it's close. It's 18-16 uh, in favor of Albany right now in the first quarter. It's alert day, so this game was supposed to start at 7. They go at 6 o'clock, and uh, Bill Romer's locked into alert day. I know. What's, what goes through your mind when you hear alert day and inclement weather coming in? Yeah. The weather is the athletic director's uh, nightmare, pretty much. Usually it's a spring issue, but in this case, we had to make an adjustment, try to get uh, everybody in here earlier and hopefully get them out of here earlier and avoid the messy conditions on the way out. Yeah, and we got some snow coming down outside the mug right now. Uh, nothing too serious, but it is it is snowing. Uh, let's talk about the spring. Well, you got, you've got wrestling championships this weekend. We'll be there. Hashtag on the road on Friday at MVP Arena, and then that goes right into your, to your spring sports. It does. We have uh, two wrestlers competing in state championships down at MVP uh, Friday and Saturday, and then um, we're also hosting uh, Section 2 cheerleading championships here in the mug on Saturday as well. So it's a busy next couple days. Girls basketball tomorrow, quarterfinals over at Albany High School against Saratoga. And spring's right around the corner, starting uh, March 13th. Uh, everybody reports, not just... Uh, pitchers and catchers. But, uh, we're looking forward to that. Hopefully good weather by the uh, end of the month. Yeah, the baseball team will be on the on the high school field this year. They will be, yes. Uh, newly renovated, uh, newly irrigated, and we're looking forward to having all of our games there at the high school this year. Bill, thank you. No problem. Thank you. Bill Romer, Director of Athletics. All right, let's meet player number on our new Shuttle 13 Rensselaer Honda High School Boys All-Star Basketball Team. And I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while since we have named a player from Amsterdam. So we are very happy to announce tonight and congratulate from Amsterdam, Cesar Thompson, 6'1", senior guard. He'll play football for Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, Division II school next year. But, boy, he can play the hoop. 22 points a game, five rebounds, three steals, shooting 43% from long range on an Amsterdam team that went 19 and 1, and they are the top seed in Class A. Cesar is a strong athletic player and a key reason for Amsterdam's uh, resurgence in basketball. He can score at all three levels. He can uh, he has a nice step back jump shot. He lets the game come to him, yet he still can come up big. He will, you know, he came up with 50 points in a game against Green Tech earlier this year. Watch what he does with the ball in his hands, but also watch what he does without the ball in his hands. There's very few people that can dictate change in a game without the ball, and Caesar is that kind of player. Um, he's very athletic on a basketball court, his decision-making ability is top-notch. That athletic ability really shows when he hits the court. Uh, defensively, he's all over the place. Um, he's a catalyst for the for the Amsterdam press. Gets a lot of steals, a lot of deflections to lead to fast breaks. Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, genuine experience uh, for Amsterdam and me. Uh, it's very humbling and uh, exciting. I'm a leader, uh, a big leader. I set uh, standards higher than everyone else uh, because I'm more of a lead by example than talking. So if I'm not doing something, why would I ask you to do something kind of guy? Well said, Cesar Thompson. Congrats. And he joins Smith and Moore and Chandler and Poole and Verdile and Myers. You'll meet All-Star number eight this time next week. All the highlights, post-game reaction coming up from the 8-9 game at 11. Guys, back to you in studio. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Well, Paul is back with another look at your first warning forecast. But first, let's check in with Rachel Teedy to find out what we're working on for tonight. Rachel. Mark and Elaine, new tonight. Two men are under arrest, accused of ripping off a local store, then taking off. What charges they're facing, new at 11. And live at 9 on my 4, we're taking a closer look at the investigation into the body found in the Mohawk River. The new details we're learning tonight at 9.